Greetings from Mount St. Mary's Seminary. The mission of forming future priests involves many joys and challenges. I am amazed by how the grace of God works through our humble hands to form and shape young men to become happy, holy, and zealous priests. The church constantly looks for ways to improve priestly formation and respond to the needs of the present times. We continually seek to improve our formation program in order to help men become better seminarians and better priests. In the past, a man might finish his college degree and enter directly into a two-year program of studying philosophy. Then he would study theology for four years. Afterward, he was ready to be ordained a priest. In recent years, young men have struggled to adjust to seminary life, to the demands of studying philosophy and theology, and to community life. Often men have great enthusiasm and goodwill, but lack a basic knowledge of the Catholic faith, struggle with personal issues, and need to learn how to pray. Putting men immediately into the demands of seminary life did not always lead to success. We can do better to serve these men who have courageously stepped forward to answer the call to the priesthood. Happily, the church has seen a worldwide need for a better approach that involves an additional year of formation the bishops of the United States have incorporated into national guidelines the Vatican's recently approved universal guidelines. The Mount immediately began to institute this initial stage of priestly formation called the propedeutic stage. Propedeutic means preparatory, and it, it is the first year for a seminarian as he begins his journey toward the priesthood. During this first year, men will receive an intense human and spiritual formation. They will learn how to pray, to live in community, and to manage their time well. They will be introduced to the beauty of the Catholic liturgy, be given opportunities to serve the poor, and learn how to more virtuously use the internet and social media. They will participate in retreats and pilgrimages. They will serve each other at mealtimes and care for the room and common spaces. In all of this, they will be accompanied by a priest formator who will live with them, teach them, pray with them, and be their leader and a spiritual father. This firm foundation seeks to ensure that each man can be the best seminarian and God willing, best priest he can be. Where will this first year of priestly formation take place? Mount St. Mary's Seminary has entered into a special relationship with the Daughters of Charity at their St. Joseph House complex just two miles from the Mount. We are renovating space near the Seton Shrine to be the Blessed Stanley Rother House of Formation, or in short, Rother House. The doors of Rother House will open in August 2023. We will be accepting applications from any diocese who wishes to have their new seminarians complete their propedeutic stage at Rother House. As we build out Rother House, and implement the propedeutic stage of priestly formation. We need your help. I hope that all who hear this message will pray for this endeavor and according to their means, generously support our work. This big project is in need of big hearts, not only to launch the propedeutic stage, but also to support it for many years to come. Mount St. Mary's Seminary helped prepare Blessed Stanley Rother to become a priest. With this house of formation, named after our illustrious alumnus, we hope to form more young men to be like the first American-born martyr, and ultimately to be like our Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ. Thank you for praying for and supporting Rother House.